So let's create a single bar timeline chart. You can see here these values, they represent a certain time where something's offline, online, or pending. So let's create the single bar timeline chart. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to get our border template, which you can find here on this specific link here, charges3.com getting started. Just copy the border template there. So once you have that, we're going to scroll down and the first thing I want to change here is the index axis. You can see here we need to create a horizontal version. So we're going to say index axis. And then this will be equal to the Y. Save this, refresh, there we are. So the next thing what I want to do is I want to convert this into a timeline. So we need the uh, time object. So to get there, we're going to click here on ecosystem. Once you click on this, we're going to scroll down and go to search for the adapters. And what we want is right now, because of charge S4, I noticed that this one works the best. This one has some loading errors or something doesn't load fully. So I'm going to take Loxon. So I'm going to scroll down here and copy these two scripts here. This is the Loxon and the Loxon time adapter designed for Charge.js. So I'm going to go up here and make sure it will be put in there and load them. And as you can see, nothing happens really because we need to activate them. I'm going to scroll down. In the X scale, we're going to say here, comma, and then we're going to say here, uh, the type will be the time, and then we're going to say comma as a unit, and then the unit will be, uh, oh, sorry, not, not unit, but we're going to say here, the time scale, and we're going to assign a specific unit for this, which is the hours, or hour specific. So once we did this, you will see it will load, but it will get only one item. And what I want to do eventually, is have one timeline, all of these stacked to, together, with certain values. So how do we do this? Well, the first thing that we're going to do here is on the Y scale, comma, we're going to index, or uh, sorry, not index, but we're going to say stacked equals true. And this is a Boolean, so you can just say you're true, no need for a string value. Save that, refresh. Nothing happens yet. All right, then what I want to do here is the following. Well, let's copy two data sets. Going to copy two data sets, put a comma, paste, Refresh. All right, so now we have these data sets here, but they are still, not, they are on top of each other because they don't recognize the value. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove all of this here, and then I'm going to uh, assign you specifically, we're going to put an enter for the values here, and then here we're going to make it first X value, and then we're going to say here, this is a bracket new date, and then in this new date, we're going to say here, what is the current day? 2022, December, and then let's say 24th. And then we can put in here time. For now, I'm going to say here time, which is the specific time zone here. Which one it is, I don't know exactly, but I just get one of them. You can get any time zone that you're familiar with. So it doesn't matter. Uh, we have this one here. And then what I want to do is because we want to have two values, because we want to have a stack value. So I'm going to grab this one. And I'm going to say we have another time. And this time is basically 30 minutes after. So we have this segment of time. And of course, right now we're getting an error. And the reason why we're getting error is, well, we have this here. All right. That doesn't work fully because we're still missing the Y value. Let's say the Y value, new data, and the Y value could be, well, uh, let's say here the um, status. That's the string value. So I'm going to get this status here because of this here. This is our Y value. So if I save that, make sure that this is identical. Save, refresh. All right, so now what I want to do is I just have this label here. Let's comment this out for now. I guess we can just comment this out because probably this is creating a conflict because it has different values here. So now we have this, but of course we have still this issue here because we don't have a starting value. So let's scroll down here. Let's say here, and we're going to say a minimum value for the hour. So I guess that's the reason why it says it's, the difference is too much. So what I'm going to do here for the minimum hour, I'm just going to do very simple. I'm going to say here the minimum minimum date would be today's date. So I'm just going to put a comma here, say refresh. All right, an unexpected identifier admin. All right, so where are we? Of course, because we forgot the comma here. There we are. So now we have the segment that we want to cover, which is basically from 6 a.m. till 6.30. 
you can see here I think we can probably give it a a fully solid color here that would make more sense but then what I will do as well is going to remove all these excess colors because what I want to do is I want to have a record that basically tracks these colors nicely and save that and let's refresh there we are all right so now we have this here and let's put in another one here so if this is the status we want to give this a status let's say this will be our offline as the label but they're connected to the status here so this is offline so what i want to do here next one i can just copy the upper one i guess that would make sense but we have to make sure that that status will be online so online and i'll take the green color that is the fourth value here it's going to grab this put this in here in there make this number one number one for solid values and refresh all right you can see right now we're on top of each other but of course if we are online on a certain time we should be or offline on this time we might be online on 6 30 onward so i'm going to say here let's say till 8 30 save refresh and as you can see here now we're going to start to get the item so what i want to do is i want to narrow this a bit more because look at this here this is just far too big and i want to cover the bar from top to bottom that would make a lot more sense so i'm going to scroll down here and then i'm going to say here first of all we're going to say here uh bar percentage and i'm doing it here because i want to pinpoint every data set that we have Bar percentage of 1%, one, which is basically 100%. So if I save this, you will see the bar is getting bigger. But now I want to cover the full category from top to bottom. So I'm going to say here the category percentage. And this will be 1 as well. Save, refresh. So now we have this, but let's narrow the item here. So to narrow this, what we can do here is what we call the aspect ratio. So I'm going to say aspect ratio. And I'm going to change the aspect ratio to let's say five to make it a bit more narrow save this refresh no oh, let's save it one more time refresh there we are so we could make it even much more narrow if desirable we can just say yeah, maybe i think a would be better like that all right so now we have this here and of course we could change this and add far more items in here so how do we do this well imagine here we could have another online put it in there put a comma and this online will start from one till whatever this would end there will be five or six and we could say here maybe another one where we want to say pending so i'm going to just copy this paste that in there pending is maybe a yellow color so i'm just going to grab this yellow color here and i'm just going to delete as well this item i'm going to say here this is yellow yellow and make sure that this is value one value one then I'm going to say here pending save and then this is a different value so let's refresh here you can see here we have the pending but we want to move the pending here from 1 a.m. to 1 30 so I'm going to say here this would be from 1 a.m. to 1 30 and then maybe we have another one here that would be after this is till 8 30 so what I want to do is here maybe from 8 30 to 9 save that refresh there we are so now we have this structure here very nicely where we have all of them in one single bar